Wrestling Rampage here, back with another video. We are back right here with another WWE Night of Champions review of the year 2012. Uh, held September 16th, 2012 at the TD Garden in Boston, Mass. Uh, the home of uh, John Cena. John Cena. Uh, well, not the home because it was in West West Newberry, but close in enough. Massachusetts. Close a fucking enough. That's right. You know, go there and get your fucking hard workout at the Hard Knocks Gym. Um, first match is a fatal four way match for the WWE Intercontinental Championship when Botch Cara takes on Cody Rhodes, takes on Ray Mostriel. Takes on the champion, The Miz. Well, here's something I, I gotta say. I'm I'm shocked for about this match. Sin Cara didn't botch. That's shocker. That's a rare video right there. Of no botch, Sin Cara. Wow. Oh, oh, I land on my finger. Ref, come here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's Sin Cara for you. Anytime he's injured, he always calls for the referee. He's like, oh, I don't want to work today. <laughs> I broke my finger. Come here, ref. <laughs> Stop the match. Stop the, the match, please. Stop the match. And uh, it's a pretty good fatal four-way match. You know, I got to say that. And uh, I was rooting for Cody Rhodes. And, of course, I got it wrong. And The Miz is still the Intercontinental Champion. Next match on the card is for the WWE Tag Team Championships uh, with R-Truth and Coffee Johnson, uh, Kingston, <laughs> takes on Team Hell No with Kane and Daniel Bryan. An, un an unlikely pair. An unlikely pair, but it was a good tag team, it was especially a great tag when they're taking on R-Truth. Anything more <laughs> truth I'm not impressed with. Uh, I'm just being honest. That's the way it is. If, if, if anybody knows and watches our videos right here on Wrestling Rampage, there's two wrestlers that we just hate more than anybody, and that's R Truth and Mark Henry. And, and third might be Big Show. Yeah. I we just I just don't just don't like them. Just don't like them. And uh, and Kane and uh, Daniel Bryan are the new WWE Tag Team Champions. That's right. Which is a good thing. Uh, next match is a pretty much a jobber, not a jobber match, but more of a squash match. Well, you might as well say, we'll look at one of them is. <laughs> it's for the WWE United States Championship when the United States Champion at the time, Antonio Cesaro, takes on... Woo, woo, woo. You, you know, know I'm jobbing. <laughs> Zack Zach Ryder. Ryder. And uh, Antonio Cesaro hits the... Uh, Destroy or whatever it's called. That, that, <laughs> that, that pickup power, power driver. That front. Thing. Yeah, front slam, whatever you want to call the damn thing. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not really thinking of what, is, what it's yeah, called right now. But he hits it and down goes the woo woo woo. He's jobbing, and that's what he did. And uh, thank goodness. Well, I just want to know. Like, I, I know that he was United States champion at one time, but he hasn't done shit. Yeah. And he's still employed with WWE, just like yeah, Hornswoggle. What's he doing now? Look at him now. He's part of the Hype Bros on NXT. He, he downgraded. I'm just being honest. He downgraded. You know, he was in WWE. Now he's on NXT team with that uh, that uh, Mojo Raleigh, hey. part of the Hype Bros. At least he's having matches. Not good. Really, what happened? Well, there, he was jobbing. Be honest, I don't think that team's that good. But, uh... Uh, next match is uh, Dolph Ziggler versus Randy Orton, which was a fucking great match. Yes, it was. Special. It was a great fucking match between Dolph Ziggler and Randy Orton, and uh, I like the RKO that Dolph sold. Sold like a champ. That's right. That's Dolph Ziggler for you. And uh, Randy Orton picks up the Duke. Yep, with the big RKO. Next match is for the WWE Divas Championship when uh, Layla, who's the Divas Champion at this time, takes on Eve Torres. Eve Torres. What do you think about I'm that? I'm yawning because it's boring. That's a boring <laughs> match. It was a boring match. Um, there's one a big fan of neither one of them. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember when Eve come out dancing with fucking uh, 
our truth like like anybody gave a shit. I was like, I don't care about our truth, so I guess you're associated with it means I don't care about you either. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, Eve Torres <laughs> fucking wins, and she's the new WWE Divas Championship. <laughs> it's the new Divas Champion. Next match is for the World Heavyweight Championship when uh, Alberto Del Rio takes on Cockadoodle Doo Sheamus. Well, I mean, at this time he wasn't Cockadoodle Doo. No, because this is another boring match. It was a boring match, and, and uh, old, uh, old Fella is. Uh, Fella! Fella is still the uh, World Heavyweight I've Champion. I've seen his tights. I don't know if he was going naked or. <laughs> Well, like, his, his his tights was just as colored as he was. Exactly. If, if it didn't have the green on it, you could swear that Sheamus was fucking naked. But like, yeah. Anyway, uh, last match in the main event of WWE Night of Champions 2012. And I'm just gonna be honest with you. This was the match of the night. It was the match of the it night. Was the best match. But I want to talk about. I'm hoping. And praying that WWE Night of Champions 2013 through 2015 are amazing. Yeah. Because 2000, uh, fr- from 2008 Eight. to 2012, they Isn't, have sucked. Yeah, they haven't impressed me any. The main event. They would is, have about one or two matches that impress me. Exactly. It's for the WWE Championship. Three of pushing it. <laughs> Three pushing it. It's for the WWE Diva, uh, sorry, the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, whatever you want to call it, WWE Championship, when CM Punk takes on the hometown boy, John Cena. John Cena. And to be honest, uh, CM Punk won, thank goodness. Well, it ended up being a draw. Well, yeah, because they both got... Both men's shoulders were down, but exactly. CM Punk retains the world title. But did be championship because of. It. But because he ended up not losing, losing the title, that means that it still goes back to CM Punk, and that means that CM Punk is still the WWE champion. Thank goodness. Uh, thank fucking goodness, because uh, I mean, I mean, I, I, of course, you know, WWE is known for having that that feel good feeling when. When when you're uh, when you're you know your hometown hero wins the belt, and it you know in his hometown, but it just didn't happen this time. You know it goes to old Mr. Blackhawk Games himself, CM Punk, the coach. The coach. Um, the coach retains. <laughs> that's right. The coach. Like us, Wrestling Rampage on Facebook, facebookcom Rampage two Follow us on Twitter. At Russell Rampage, and hit that subscribe button. Give that subscribe button the big fucking go to sleep. Give it the GTS. Um, you know uh, we got some more great video content, original content right here on this channel. You do not want to miss it. Uh, miss out on this great, great YouTube channel. That's right. Um, uh, we want to thank you guys for your support. Uh, if you guys ever, ever want to talk to us. Uh, give you know, one our feedback on something, whatever. Feel free to leave us a comment. Feel free to write us on Twitter. Feel free to tweet us. Feel feel free to write us on on Facebook. We will gladly get in contact with you guys. Um, and uh, of course, rest of rampage is like that cream that rises to the top. That's right. We are the cream of the crop. And nobody does it better, baby.